Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Crawl TV. It's Saturday at like 5 p.m. and we're just about to leave on a little Jeep trip. Tonight, we're going night wheeling. We know it's gonna get really cold tonight. We already have hoodies on and we have soft shell jackets to go over the hoodies. Luke finished up installing the 12 volt connections on the dash. So we actually have a place to plug into now. And we wanna try this stuff out prior to the Rubicon Trail because everything that we're gathering here is stuff that we wanna have when we go on the Rubicon. And I mentioned when we were at Enzo's shop months ago that our plan were, was to get heated blankets. We're gonna get, I found some really cool 12 volt heated blankets. And uh, I think we're gonna do that. Yeah. I don't okay. think it's a real option for me as a driver, um, but for Steph, we're gonna use this heated blanket and see how it goes. It looks like it's just about the right size to like throw over your body in the passenger seat. It's not huge, um, but it does have the heating elements in it and it does have this 12 volt plug and some power settings. So we'll take this with us. Copper has her jacket, we have our jackets. We'll see how it goes. So I plugged this heated blanket in. Luke got all this stuff wired up for me and the light turns on. So I wanna, I just wanna make sure it all works before we leave tonight because if it doesn't, Steph's gonna be freezing. Um, but while we're in here waiting for this thing to heat up, um, I also wanted to talk about the lighting on this Jeep. So obviously when we got it, it had LED headlights and they probably performed better than the halogen lights that I put on it, but they just looked ugly. So I took those off and I kind of downgraded our output from our headlights. So we don't have a lot going on there. I pretty much leave this thing high beams on. Um, but as far as our other lighting, we do have Baja Designs lights on this. We have S1s with work scene lenses on the front bumper. And we also have those Soltex. So that's an old Baja Designs light with like a billet aluminum uh, set screw or set nut, I guess, on the top of them. And I wanna see how those perform. The uh, Soltex are HIDs, so they do have to like warm up. And I believe they're like a cooler color temperature. So um, probably more in like the 6,000 Kelvin range, whereas the Baja Designs are like 5,000. Um, so I wanna see if I like that or not, because I think I can change those HIDs out. Um, but we really haven't driven this thing at night much. So this will be kind of a, a test run for us. I know when we're at the Rubicon Trail, we will be doing stuff at night. Um, so we're probably gonna notice that we need lights inside the Jeep, like dome lights and stuff. If, you know, if we try to like look for something on the dark black floor at nighttime, it's gonna be difficult. Um, this is why we're doing this. It's kind of a test run just to see how everything works and what we need to improve before this thing goes to the Rubicon. Obviously I have a lot of other stuff I'm working on, but this is one of those creature comfort things and you can never have too many lights when you're driving at night. So we will, uh, we will be testing the lights tonight. We'll be testing, is this thing hot yet? Oh, it's warming up. Oh yeah, that'll be nice. That might be too much. It's on high right now. Uh, we might have to turn this down, but it's got, this has three settings and also a timer. So um, I'll just leave it on high. I wanna see how hot it gets. But yeah, we'll be testing lights. We'll be testing our electronics and um, we will be testing the Jeep further. Last time we drove it, we blew the rear axle and the bell crank on the clutch so and we lost our brakes so <laughs> not a good track record so far hopefully tonight is is smooth sailing so anyways that's all um as soon as tommy gets here we will roll out all right we are off copper is in that blanket right now <laughs> we're fully bundled up and we're following tommy out of the driveway he is in a kia sportage with and a cleaver MTs on it. So it's not gonna be like hardcore off-roading, but there's always a little bit extra challenge because it's nighttime. So we're gonna try and not push it too hard. So right now we are on a main dirt road, but we're gonna be cutting through the bottom of this valley and we're actually, oh, okay. We're actually gonna end up on that trail way out there. 
and we're gonna go all the way through the valley, all the way out the other side, we're gonna hook up to another road and we're gonna go to the top of a lookout somewhere. So we have a bit of driving ahead of us and I think that that's a little bit more of a trail than a road. So once we get off of this, it'll get a little more fun. Well, we got to the trailhead and uh, the gate's locked. So this is public land. Sometimes they close the trail when there's inclement weather. It's not even raining, but the gate's locked. So we have to find something else to do. Our plan was to go down that trail and that was kind of the whole plan. Um, so yeah, we're gonna figure out what to do now, but not really sure yet. Okay, so we decided to go back to the ranch that Steph and I live on. I have my own private off-road trails and it seems like nothing else is open unless we go to the mountains, but it is really cold. And if we go up to the mountains, it's gonna be in the 30s and um, we just don't really wanna drive a topless doorless Jeep up to the mountains for no reason. It's all pavement. So we're gonna go hit some Crawl TV trails exclusive. And um, this is the same area that I took the Jeep after I installed the PRP seats. It's a little bit harder than anything we were expecting to do tonight, but it should be fun. So we just gotta head back that way now and uh, I'll show you my backyard. All right guys, well this is the most boring night ride in the world. It is so freaking cold out here. My hands are completely numb. We got to the top of this trail and I decided um, we're actually not gonna go for a night ride tonight. <laughs> we, uh, it's misty. Yeah, we've been cold enough. We're just gonna go home. So. This was just like a cold weather drive. And uh, all we learned from this is that it gets really friggin' cold. The heating blanket works great though. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah I bet. Um, <laughs> I don't get one. <laughs> I have to drive a stick shift, so I can't have a heated blanket. But anyways, we're gonna work our way down this trail here and uh, just go home to where it's warm and start a fire in our house. So that's probably the shortest video I've ever made, but thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next episode of Crawl TV. Bye.